Merislesos topped the killing of twins, but not in Yoruba land. While twins were being killed in other parts of the Niger region that later became known as Nigeria, twins were never killed in Yoruba land. On the contrary, twins were celebrated. We have special names for them, we sing special songs for them, we cook special foods for them. We consider them blessings. And anyone fortunate enough to give birth to twins consider themselves fortunate and blessed. Twins are so loved in Yoruba land that we even call pregnant women Iyai Beji. And she too receives it with laughter because everybody wants to have twins. We say in the Yoruba categorization of children, twins rank the highest. Twins are actually deities. Ibeji is an Orisha. We appease them, we pay homage to them, we make sacrifices to them. The word Ibeji itself reveals how the Yoruba feel about the phenomenon. Ibeji is a strong version of the words Ibeji. Ibi is birth, Eji is two, meaning double birth. Ibeji. Today it's like saying double blessing or double portion. So there was never a time the people were scared of Ibeji. There was never a time we killed them. Another Yoruba word for the twins is Ejire. Eji is two. Re means to rhyme or to blend or to be the same. Ejire therefore means two persons that rhyme with themselves, that blend with each other, that are the same. That isn't a bad word, which means we have always loved twins from the get-go. The name we give to things reveal how we feel about them. For instance, the bridge baby is called Ige Adubi. Adubi means the one that is born by struggling. But every child is born by struggling. So what is special in the case of Ige that made us call him Adubi? It is because the struggling in the case of Ige is a special one every other child comes out with the head Ige decides to come out with his own legs so we have to struggle differently to give birth to him hence adubi so that name tells us how we feel about the child now how do we feel about ibeji we call the first of the ibeji taiwo and the second kenyinde some say koinde but i'm saying with the talk taiwo means toayewo and that's why the child is also called taye it means to have a taste of the world kenyinde is a kenyinde begbon and it means the one that comes last and ends up senior it is believed that everyone before being born here was already alive in the world of the unborn and you had your own relationships there. This is basically what the concept of Egbe is all about. In the case of the Ibeji, Kende is actually the senior of Taiwo when they were in the world of the unborn and by virtue of that, Kende could send Taiwo to come to the world first to have a taste of it and then tell him what the world looks like so that he can know what to expect as he's coming. This is the Yoruba belief system surrounding the beauty of Ibeji. We've never considered them bad. In any case, we seize every opportunity we have to take care of these special ones. But Ibeji to the Yoruba is actually much deeper than what I have just said. And future videos will be devoted to exploring this beauty. Wa